Speaker Michael Bush never kept. He died on Sunday at the age of 72. WMAR 2 News Mark Roper was at the State House in Annapolis today. He has reaction from lawmakers as they prepared for this very difficult day. The last day of the legislative session ends in mourning, with condolences coming from those who worked alongside House Speaker Bush, as well as from those across the aisle. Today is really supposed to be an exciting day, uh, especially for me as a freshman legislator, but it really has turned into a sad day. We lost our coach, uh, the Speaker of the House, Michael Bush. Well, it's definitely a sad day. I'm a, a freshman Republican here, and uh, so my first experience working with him, and, and I have to say, he, he was a fair guy. He gave me time. We, we necessarily did, didn't agree, but he respected your opinion. Welcome everyone back to Annapolis. Bush also had a reputation for order within the state house. He loved the House of Delegates, you know. He, he cared deeply about the decorum in there that, you know, you had to have a tie on, a sport coat on. If you didn't, he'd call you down real quick on it. And uh, he kept order. Bush joined the House of Delegates 32 years ago, back in 1987. He served District 30 along with retired state senator John Astle, who called Bush a colleague and friend for more than 30 years. We formed Team 30, and Team 30 lasted up until I bailed out in, in this, this last election. Um, Mike was always the captain of the team. He loved sports. He liked to joke. He's a guy that, you know, even if he didn't agree with his position, you you felt comfortable around him and, that, and you know, that's important to, when you're in that position. A leadership position which Bush held for the last 16 years. He was the longest serving speaker of the House and, uh, you know, his, his issues were, I think, he cared deeply about the whole state of Maryland. And now, Maryland honors the life and legacy of House Speaker Michael Bush as flags statewide fly at half staff to remember him. I think his legacy will, will definitely be one that's, uh, you know, him being a mentor to so many of us, especially in the House Chambers. He was just uh, no pretension. He was just a really good, solid guy that you could trust. And I'm going to miss him. In Annapolis, Mark Roper, WMAR 2 News.